Hi, my name is David. Today, we're going to do a CSS grid tutorial on free code camp. We're going to learn about the grid column property. So before we learn about the grid template columns, the rows, and this prop, these properties affect the container. And now we're going to learn how to affect the items within the container. And grid column is one of them. And this one will, tells you how many columns you want to occupy to adjust. So when we look at a grid and we have this, for example, this is a three by three grid. And what it does is that it takes in two parameters. The first one is the start of the, the column. So when we're looking at this, just focus on the column lines, not too much the row lines. The first one is that we wanna start at which column line you wanna start at. And this goes to, and which one you wanna end at. So for this example, it'll cover these first two boxes. So for this example, it wants us to consume the last two columns of that grid. So we can see here that this is a container and this container is grid and each grid is one third columns and one third rows with a gap of 10 pixels evenly. So we wanted to fill out these two. So what we can do is that we need the grid column, copy that, and we want to do item five, item five. So we have to see the class item five. And now it takes in, this is column one, this is column two. So it starts at two and then it ends up, by default it's ending at three, but we want to keep going. So we want to end it at four. So two over four like that. And that'll be it for this one. Thank you so much.